Hello once again. Now that we have gone through the basic process involved in designing costumes, I would like to take you on a tour where you can see costumes around the world. You will have an idea of how the costumes in a different country, in a different century were. At the same time, you will also be able to see how one country's costume has been influenced by another. This influence is because of trade and travel and also the various invasions that happened where one country ruled over the other and vice versa. Now, let us see some costumes from England and Egypt. Now, here we see the costumes of England in the 16th and 17th century. In picture number 1 and 2, this is a lady's jacket made of slashed satin. Picture number 4 and 6 is a bodice made of brocade. You can see the detailing in that. Picture number 7 is a gentleman's suit consisting of a doublet and a trunk hose. The doublet is the top part and the trunk hose is what is modern day pants. Number 12, have a look at the footwear. These are slip-ons with heels. And now, this is a picture showing us the costumes of Egypt, of the Old and the Middle Kingdom. Picture number one, Egyptian of rank with a mantle of panther skin tied in a knot at the shoulder. The main material used underneath is linen and a beautifully draped loincloth. Picture number seven is the headdress with the hood receding in a pot-like shape and decorated with a serpent. This was solely reserved for the king. The loincloth too, with the loose piece of material hanging down from the girdle is a privilege only granted to the kings. Number 12, the common people wore a simple loincloth. Now we see a picture of the costumes of ancient Egypt of the new kingdom. Picture number one, the pharaoh wears the loincloth of the kings. Over that, he wears a light linen mantle that is fastened on the chest by a knot and a wide necklace. His headgear is the blue and gold striped royal hood. Number two, the king wears the long calaris, which is like a shirt with holes for the arms, over which the loincloth is draped. Number eight, the king and queen both wear the royal insignia. Her head is covered by the vulture and his by the serpent. The garments are very similar. So then, I hope you found that interesting. But before we go on, let's watch this clipping. Ich 
खैरियत तो है ना घर में कोई खटपट हुई है क्या जो आस पास के बाटो को बुलाया है अरे तुम्हारे इस मागुर पर जुनून चढ़ा है बाबरा बस सवाल है इसके ऊपर इसे तुम मारो अरे किस लिए बुलाया है अब तो नागाड़े की आवाज भी भूल गए हैं सब खैरियत तो है ये तुम लोग पूछ रहे हो रेडियो पर खबर नहीं सुनी क्या खबर है सुना क्या खबर है खबर कैसी खबर शमीमा क्या हुआ शमीमा को गोपाली की बीच रास्ते पर गला घोट कर हत्या कर दी गई उसकी लाश सड़क पर फेंक दी गई बिल्कुल नंगी इजलास बुलाएंगे किस किस का मातम करेंगे मतलब आज उसे मारे कल मुझे मारेंगे फिर तुम्हें 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 एक एक करके सबको फिर कोई मातम करने के लिए भी नहीं रहेगा क्योंकि क्योंकि हम सब चुप हो गए सबका मुंह बंद है आवाज बंद है उधर चलना पगला है हमारे लोग मच की परंपरा की जड़ें खोद डालने के लिए हमारी संस्कृति को मिटाने हमारे वजूद को नष्ट करने के लिए इसलिए इसलिए क्या इसलिए सो शैल वी ट्रेवल अ बिट मोर Let's see the costumes of Rome, Arabia and Turkey. Let's begin with Rome. Number 1. The emperor wears the costume of the supreme commander. Over the tunic, he wears leather armor studded with bronze and brass figures. over it he wears the cloak as worn in war time number 10 a toga with short tunic toga with long tunic the toga was the ceremonial garment of rome 18 a statue of a roman girl with tunic and palla the wrap of roman women now we come to arabia and palestine number 1 arabian women's shirt called kameez made of shiny cotton number 4 a shirt like garment with pointed sleeves number 5 women's shirt with pointed sleeves from israel number 6 a bedouin sheikh from sinai now we go on to east arabia number 1 is a young arab from eastern arabia he wears a kefiya with a simple doubled headring which is called okal a short brown coat with gold embroidery is also seen number 4 a woman's shirt kameez again number 7 women's breeches libas with embroidery now here we have a picture of turkish costumes number 1 is an old ceremonial coat is one of the typical garments worn by the sultan 
and men of rank from the 16th to the 19th century. The long hanging sleeves show the Asiatic origin of this type of garment. Number six, an undergarment. This garment was made of coarse thick leather and silk damask. Number seven, the outer coat made of gilt brocade and decorated with gold patterns. The upper part is lined with yellow silk and the lower part with green silk. Number eight, a Turk of rank wearing the popular cloth coat or fox fur coat. The sash is worn correctly here, wound round the undergarment and not around the coat. Nine, a woman's taffeta trousers gathered above the calves. They hang down in heavy folds. So, I hope you have been noticing the influence of one country on another's costumes. Watch this. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Now we go on to the next country which is India. This is a picture consisting of various women's wraps. Number five, a coolie woman in a sari. It covers nearly the whole body, the lower part being arranged like trousers or rather the dhoti. Number eight, an upper class Maharashtrian woman wearing sari, which also covers the head. She wears a short choli or blouse under the strawberry colored sari or wrap. Number nine, is the same seen from behind. Here, the trousers are seen more clearly. The sari ends are tugged into the belt to make the trousers. Number 10, a Tamil woman. They never wear gold on their feet. All anklet ornaments and rings are made of silver 
or other metals. Nose ornaments are very popular. Now, let us go on to China and Japan and see what kind of costumes they wore in these countries. First, let's begin with China. Number one, unlined silk men's garment haol, fastening on the right hand side with knots and loops. Number two, men's sleeveless outer jacket made of a hard net like patterned material which shows the light blue silk lining beneath. All Chinese garments have a seam front and back. Number three, a comical hat made of straw or split reeds with a blue button denoting rank and silk tassel. Number four, men's cap made of black satin with red cord buttons. Number five, men's trousers made of coarse black silk with cotton belt. Number eight, tight sleeved garment of brocade belonging to a person of rank. The borders are of embroidered blue silk. The garment is lined with pale blue silk. Number nine, a wide sleeved jerkin worn by women of rank. It is made of silk with cloud and dragon patterns of tapestry. The neck opening and flap are appliqued with gold material. The lining is of pale green silk. Now this is a picture of Japanese costumes. Number one, the kimono, famous Japanese garment with sleeves set at right angle and which serves as pockets also. The cut of the women's kimono is identical but for the slightly longer sleeves and more pleasing pattern. The kimono is worn with a belt. Nine, fur coat made up of bare skin. Now, this is a picture again of Japanese garments. Number one, Japanese citizen wearing kimono, outer coat and shirt like trousers called Hakama. Cotton socks are worn with hemp sandals. The head is shaven in the traditional way which lasted until the middle of the 19th century. Number four, a samurai or a noble warrior. The garment consists of a top part called kamishin which is very wide at the shoulders and folded at the waist. The waist part is the hakama. Let's watch another clipping.
नहीं ठहरो मैं तुम्हारे आगमन की सूचना माता को देता हूं continue and move on to tibet picture 1 and 2 men's garment of diagonally woven felt like woolen material number 3 lamas dancing mantle decorated in the chinese fashion lined with hemp like material sleeves decorated with strips of silk Number 4 Lama's monk like garment made of diagonally woven coarse wool 7 jacket made of thick woolen material with lining We have another picture of Tibetan garments Number 1 We have sleeveless women's garment made of red native woolen material decorated with colored cloth and ribbons number 2 women's garment cut like a kaftan and decorated with chinese brocade around the armhole number 6 ceremonial costume of a lama priest according to the chinese fashion number 9 men's outer coat with high collar which can be tied at the side above the right hip number 10 undergarment made of coarse striped cotton let's watch another little clipping आज लोग जरा साहेब ज्यादा हो गए हैं दुल्हने साड़ियां पहनने लगी हैं शहरों की नकल में और शरबत की जगह बोतल बंद पानी चलता है लेकिन हम यहाँ घरों में कैद हैं क्योंकि हमारे यहाँ डर है कि लोग क्या कहेंगे खुदा जाने क्या क्या होता होगा तुम्हारा दुपट्टा पैरों में आ रहा है तो क्या करूँ चलोगी तो गिर अच्छा है एक शख्स कम हो जाएगा आदिला कहा है आज उसने अपना सब्ज कबा पहना है जो उसकी सालगिरह के लिए सिया था मुश्तरी आहाते में निकली और पुकारने लगी चूजो चूजो जरा इधर देखो मैं बेसाता ही हंसी अपनी जान निकली तो कैसा होता ऐसा होता बेचारी जाने ना तो वो हम में से सबसे छोटी है और अभी उसके भरम टूटे नहीं है या अल्लाह उसके दुख मुझे दे दे और उसको खुश हो खुरम रख कितना वक्त हुआ होगा एक बजता है इतना 
That was interesting, right? So, I hope you all enjoyed the little tour. And now that you have a fair bit of idea about the costumes of the world. And I'm sure you can all go ahead and hunt out more on your own. Happy hunting. See you soon. Thank you.